But let's read these last few verses. I heard in my inward parts tremble the sound. At the sound, my lips quivered. Decay enters my bones, and in my place I tremble. Because I must wait quietly for the day of distress for the people to arise who will invade us. That was a bad word, wasn't it? But Habakkuk says, though the fig tree should not blossom, there would be no fruit on the vines. Though the yield of the olive should fail and the fields produce no food, though the flock should be cut off from the fold and there be no cattle in the stalls, yet I will exult in the Lord and I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He has made my feet like hind's feet and makes me walk in my high places. And 30 years ago, I read that at the Capitol and I said, Lord, I don't care how long this takes. And though we have to go through some of this bad stuff, I didn't know it would be as long as it was. But I said, I promise you, I will not quit. Amen. I will not quit. No surrender. So I believe we have shifted into a new season. And I think we all know that. And it's important for us to connect the seasons properly. Now I'm going to finish with this. I remember being in a service probably 20 years ago. We were going, God was trying to take the church, the praying church and the apostolic church from one season to the next in the restoration of things and I heard in the spirit this grinding sound and it was so clear that at first I thought I you know it sounded real it sounded like gears grinding trying to shift and the clutch isn't working right or synchronization isn't right and it's and I said, Lord, what am I hearing? He said, the ages are trying to connect. But things are not in proper alignment yet. And you need to, you need to pray, you need to decree, you need to do, you just, just keep doing what I, what I tell you to do because I'm trying to make the changes necessary in the church so that the ages can connect. It's Hebrews 11, 3, the katartizo of the ions, the aligning of the ages. And I feel like now we're in another one of those places where we've got to finish well while we're beginning well. Does that make sense? We've got to make sure that we do what we need to do to finish the siege and persevere while we listen and obey and navigate into the future. And maybe the two are more connected, maybe more than we think or know, it's really one process. Maybe finishing, what's that? Yeah, the touch and go of an airplane. It's good. That's good. So I want to challenge us. This is how I want to finish this. I want to challenge us to, to finish well, but God's endings are his new beginnings. Seven, completion. Eight, new beginnings. I don't know if I could say this right or not, but um, there are two, you know, two, two calendars, there are two Jewish calendars. There's the civil and the religious. And I hope I get this right, but like the, the seven month of one is the first month of the other. And, and then, so... Prophetically, when you get to the seven, you're also at one. 
and the number of the completion number is also number one on the other. So the endings are new beginnings. And it's like it's pictured by their calendar. And I feel like that's where we are right now. We're, we, we're going to finish well. Amen. We're gonna we're gonna complete this assignment, but it's it's also that is an entrance into the new. That will give fuel, momentum, fire for the next era Amen. that we're moving into. And curses are being broken, so blessings can come. Giants are being taken out so the land can be possessed. Does that make sense? It's like, get rid of this so you can get this. That's where we are. So, Lord, we, we just pledge to you that <clears throat> we are those who understand siege. We understand faith. We understand perseverance. And we pledge to you that we will keep moving forward and you will keep us moving properly in the right direction, doing the right things, but we will keep moving and we will finish and we will begin and it's not dependent on how good we are at this it's all about following you and that's what we're going to do and I'm just going to finish this prayer Father by saying thank you for giving me a mercy verse 30 years ago in front of the Capitol and taking me back to the root of mercy word on this trip 30 years later what you're saying to us I have remembered mercy and we thank you for that gracious loving father Amen. Amen.